Here we'll solve more problems based on parallelogram. Now the question goes like this. Given the triangle ABC, now lines are drawn through A, B and C parallel respectively to the sides BC. For example, the line drawn through A is parallel to BC and the line drawn through B is parallel to AC and then the line drawn through C is parallel to AB. So now what happens in the process when you're drawing lines parallel to the other sides of the triangle, we get another bigger triangle PQR. So what we need to show is we need to show that BC is half of QR. So this line is half of QR is what we have to prove. So now we have that AC is parallel to BC because the line drawn through all the three points of the triangle are parallel to the other side of the triangle. So we clearly have AQ parallel to CB and AC parallel to QB. And then we have AQ parallel to BC. So based on this fact, we can say that the figure AQBC is a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel to each other. So now we can say that BC equal to AQ because opposite sides of parallelogram are equal and that is why we have BC equal to AQ. Now again we have similarly similarly we have AR parallel to BC we have AR parallel to BC and we have AB parallel to RC which makes ARCB as a parallelogram. So therefore, we can say that BC equals to AR, again the same reason as this, opposite sides of parallelogram are equal. So now, let us consider BC equal to AQ as first equation and this as the second equation. We're comparing these two equations, we can clearly say that BC is equal to AQ and BC is equal to AR. Therefore, AQ is equal to AR. So we can write AQ equals AR from 1 and 2. and that is this AQ equals AR and it also says that AQ is equal to BC and AR is, is also equal to BC. So therefore we can say that AQ is equal to AR is equal to half of QR. First of all AQ is equal to AR therefore they are equal to half of QR and we can prove that BC equals half of QR because we have already shown that AQ is equal to BC and AR is also equal to BC. So therefore, we have proved that BC is equal to half of QR. Let us solve another problem. In the figure shown, we have AN and CP are the perpendiculars. AN and CP are the perpendiculars to the diagonal BD of parallelogram ABCD. So what we have to prove is, we need to prove that triangle ADN. So here it is, ADN is congruent to triangle CBP. So this is the first thing that we have to prove. Now again, since ABCD is a parallelogram, we can easily say that AD is parallel to BC. Now AD is parallel to BC and transversal BD intersects them at B and D. So therefore, we can say that angle 1 equals to angle 2. Why? Because they are alternate interior angles that are equal. Now, if we consider in triangles ADN and in triangles CBP, we already have angle 1 equals angle 2 and also we have angle AND equals to angle CPD. The reason we have angle AND equals to angle CPD is because they both are right angles. So we have two things and then we also have AD equal to BC. The reason being they are opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Now what this is an angle, this is an angle and this is a side. So based on AAS, based on angle angle side congruence criterion, we have triangle ADN congruent to triangle CBP. 
and therefore if you can prove that the two triangles are congruent to each other then any part of that triangle is equal to the corresponding part of the other triangle so based on that we can say that a n equal to c p the reason being corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal 